Welcome to our tutorial on how to set up Anadot Autonomous Business Monitoring to help you better track and manage your AWS costs. Anadot is a monitoring tool that uses machine learning to detect anomalies in your business data. You can also use it to specifically monitor your AWS cost and usage reports, also referred to as CUR files, to receive real-time alerts when your costs unexpectedly spike or drop. First, set up an Amazon S3 bucket to store your COR files. You'll need to make sure that you define a policy that enables AWS to write to that bucket. You have an example here in the AWS documentation. You'll also need to define a policy that allows Anadot to read from that bucket. Once you have the bucket ready, you can create the reports in your AWS account. Specify the name for the report, and in additional report details, select the location, granularity, such as whether you want the data sampled hourly or daily, and choose CSV as the output format. Define whether you want to include resource IDs. For S3, for example, the resource ID would be the bucket name. Now decide whether you want a data refresh, which enables the reports to refresh when AWS applies refunds, credits, or support fees to your account after the bill has been finalized. In that case, a new report is uploaded to the bucket. As for report versioning, choose whether you want each version of the bucket to overwrite the older reports or to be delivered in addition to the previous versions. We recommend selecting Create New Report so that new files don't overwrite the previous ones. If this is your first time setting up these reports, AWS should start providing the reports the next day onwards. Now let's go to Anadot so we can work on connecting that data to our platform. First we go to Streams, and from Sources, we'll select AWS Cost Monitoring from the Business Packages. Now specify the region, copy and paste the bucket name, and if there's a specific folder that contains the files, paste that here. Copy the ID from Anadot to your Amazon role definitions and the role that you have defined should also be pasted here. Once this is set up, you'll see you have a source that is defined in the system and is active. Now Anadot has access to your CUR files. You can now create a new stream. So let's do that by going into the stream we've already created on the AWS side. And if there's an internal path that you want to include, then you can just do that here. Once you press go, you'll see the billing periods for which you have cost and usage reports. Select the first report period you'd like to start collecting. In measures and dimensions, you can select from the available templates. We'll select the AWS cost template here. And if you have tags available, choose whatever tags that you want within the CUR files and we'll use them to categorize your metrics. Now give the stream a name and set the owner and click next to continue. Now you should see the stream table. And when you're ready, click stream it. select the S3 one we created. You'll see the available dashboards, including the regions that are consuming the most resources within your organization. Naturally, you can do some slicing and dicing for more granular visibility into these costs. And of course, you'll want to set up Anadot's alerts for these metrics, which will save you from having to keep your eyes on the dashboards by sending you alerts when usage and costs deviate from the norm. Some of the alerting is automatic and some can be configured manually. Get ready to spend less time worrying about your AWS bills. Anadot's got you covered.